everyone. The topic of my presentation is federated group, a federated learning approach for anomaly detection in internet things environments. To begin with the presentation, I want to start by describing a live scene that happens in daily life. Imagine and picture this. You buy a new camera for your house to help you detect strangers around your house. However, the hacker uses the password cracking tool to easily deduce your Wi-Fi password, disable the firewall, and remotely control all the internet connected devices in your home. And this is not alarmist. CISO highlights that the number of connected devices per person in a smart home has surged rapidly from 0.08 in trend 3 to 6.58 in 2020. Internet these devices help people to save money and time, but also help people stay fit, healthy, safe, and enable effortless communication with friends and family. However, the fact is that many internet connected devices have poor input security measures and can reveal private data and information. Recent research reported that around 59% of users are concerned about speakers listening to them without permission and gathering data without their knowledge. Therefore, questions related to anomaly detection have swiftly gained attention from public in debates concerning how to defend the risk of disclosing private data in the smart home. And the question is, what can we do to fix the issue of poor internet things security? And there's one main question that this study focused on is attack detection. Can we determine whether it is an attack? Our research um, is focused on the anomaly detection in internet things environments and target audience to help people who might have lots of internet connected devices in household. The aim is to automatically detect the text and report the fact to the human at hand. This part, we review the key literature concerned with anomaly detection in the smart home. While earlier studies had predominantly focused on traditional machine learning approaches, the disadvantages of traditional machine learning models require massive data storage and the risk of revealing private information and data for sending the data to the central model. This is mentioned in a paper named the review of the Internet of Things for Smart Home Challenges and Solutions. Google first came up with the idea of federated learning in 2016 to predict text input on mobile devices. Federated learning is an algorithm trained by multiple locally decentralized services without sharing into a centralized learning model. In this case, Federated learning allows a neural data set stored in various distributed services to locally trained data, which ensure the data privacy and security. The central model renews the global model with the weighted average of parameters, so the approach is also named federated average. Besides, federated learning is a lightweight algorithm with the benefit of lower data volume and avoid the risk of transmission. The structure of federated learning model has been proved that the advantages of high security and high performance by many studies. There are many studies that work on more advanced way to continually improve the accuracy. However, the current study doesn't spend too much work on fixing the unfairness of federated learning. Murphy indicates that the different clients may be favored by federated models causing bias or unfairness. In many instances, the uniform distribution is not the natural objective distribution. Consequently, they present an agnostic federated learning framework in which the centralized model is optimized for any target distribution produced by a mixture of client distribution. However, the optimization of the single worst device is limited for a smart environment with numerous Internet Things devices. Lee concurs that unfair distribution of model could bring disproportionate performance since overall accuracy is high, but the individual accuracy is uncertain. The model may be biased towards devices with massive data. Enhanced federated learning model called QFair federated learning was created by the team, and the model is configured at a more granular scale to ensure equitable device distribution and maintain the same overall accuracy.
Besides, in sample learning for network security and anomaly, um, anomaly detection have the ability to perform well results. It combines multiple learning models and achieves better prediction results. Furthermore, ensemble of models has a stronger resilience in the face of training data uncertainty. The ensemble learning concept has a similarity to how federated learning aggregate the training results, and this opens up an opportunity to incorporate ensemble learning with federated learning model. Here are the gaps we can be summary from previous studies. Firstly, most previous studies can share lights on federated learning outperforming traditional machine learning. However, research identifying the attack using federated learning is still scarce and had not been explored in depth. Therefore, this study will try to investigate the attack detection using federated learning to evaluate the performance. Secondly, simply choosing the overall Average in the central model ignores bias of the individuals and causes unfair performance. The past research ignores um, the reality that various local model has distinct functionality and structure. The same category of United devices has similar vulnerable structure and similar network traffic flow data patterns that may be under similar attacks. Um, as a result, United States devices within the same group choose similar parameters on anomaly detection, therefore create a new model named federated group to aggregate the updates based on groups. Lastly, to address the issue of some global models perform great and some working worse, ensemble learning joins various contributing models to make better forecasts, which we can combine the ensemble learning with federated learning based model. Our data are coming from University of New South Wales in their things and next team. They demonstrate the real life threat to evaluate the privacy and security risk of in things devices. The lab setup is the specialized implementation of this architecture houses at University of New South Wales facility. It has a total of 28 unique in things devices representing six different categories, along with several in things, um, not in things devices. And as we can see in the table, there are 10 InnoSync devices that contain both benign and attack traffic, traffic data set. We have camera, we have light bump, and they're in different categories, such as camera, energy management, and so on. As, as for data set, it contains two parts, network traffic flow data and attack data. The network traffic data of the um, 10 InnoSync devices are connected every minute market every activity and recorded to 10 separate Excel network traffic flow data files which contain timestamp and a significant number of attribute of patterns such as from port packet to port packet and as for attack data contains the start time and end time of the attack impact and also the attack types methodology. So this graph shows the architecture of our proposed approach federate group. We have four steps in total. Step one, every device have local model to compute training network traffic flow data with all parameters and send the parameters best result to the central model. Step two, group master in the central model, secure aggregate the uh, parameters based on group without learning information about any participant. Step three, group master sent back the aggregated result to participants in the related group. And last step is local models update their models with the new parameters. And you may ask question uh, of what's the difference of the traditional machine learning? Uh, what's different with the federated average learning model? So I would say, first of all, traditional machine learning, um, it, it requires massive data storage in the central model and the unsafety of private data because of transmission and sharing information. And second, uh, as for the federated average model, it's good that ensure the high security and high privacy, and also it's a lightweight communication. But we have to know that the question of um, our fairness is still exist.
For our federal group model, the central model aggregates the average of parameters based on groups, which can help us to solve the problem of unfairness. We're talking about lots of fairness and unfairness. So what exactly is um, well, exactly about fairness? So we have to know that the uniform distribution is not the natural objective distribution. The result will be inf easily influenced by the extremely large or extremely small updates and the similarity of network traffic flow data patterns of device models in the same category and the devices in the smart homes are not equally assigned in different groups. The same category of Internet of Things devices have similar functionality, structure, and network traffic flow data patterns. Uh, what's more, the same category of Intensys devices have similar vulnerable structure under the similar attacks. And why are we talking about um, ensemble learning? We have to know that the original federated average model used the machine learning as the initial model in every Intensys devices. However, the performance are not always perfect as expected because machine learning are used to solve a specific question or type of question, um, and some perform good and some are not. Uh, for instance, um, logistic regression, as we know that, is uh, effectively classified data into distinct classes by investigating the connection between a collection of label data. However, if the number of features is greater than the number of observations, logistic regression should not be utilized. Therefore, we're trying to use the ensemble learning because it combine multiple models as one for a better forecast. Therefore, use ensemble learning as a local model and combine federated learning based model. Um, and we want to see what's the performance. Okay, let's move on to our results. We have decision tree, logistic regression, and ensemble learning for our local model. And then we have um, log traditional machine learning, federated average, and also federated group in our central model. So we try to compare of them to see which one get the best performance. So first of all, can we answer the question whether we can determine it is an attack? And the answer is yes. The highest accuracy of 99.91% reached by the federated group model using ensemble learning as the local model to train. And second would be a federated learning based model perform equal or better performance than the traditional machine learning models. You may ask the question, okay, why the accuracy is all above 99%? Is there any problem with overfeeding? We have to consider the anomaly detection problem is a binary classification problem. So it's a yes, it is an attack or no, it is not an attack. Well, we use the stratified shuffle split to use uh, try to solve the problem of overfeeding. The accuracy of all models is more than 99%. Therefore, we have false positive rate FPR is a more reliable evaluation matrix since higher FPR scores indicate high ratio of negative events is incorrectly categorized as positive. If we take the decision tree as local model for attack detection, we can see that traditional machine learning model got 10.04% um, FPR. Federal group is 9.57% FPR and federal group is 7.7% FPR. Lastly, as for the running time, the running time of federated learning base is less than the traditional machine learning model. For example, using ensemble learning as the local model and the federated group as the central model spent around 1 over 16 of the time spent on traditional machine learning and also 0 0.9 of the time spent on federated average. So from the result of this study, we can see that this is um, consistent with previous researchers who suggest the issue of unfairness in light of importance of bias, of training data disclosure is imperative to address this gap in research by aggregating updates based on groups. Based on our result, what we can suggest um, is that there are still some limitations. Um, we didn't implement it on real-time detection 
and uh, probably interesting to expanding the model to other framework and not just limited to a normal detection problem, trying to find the system cost and also interesting in how to, the link instability of wireless network effects model update. Lastly, would be uh, we can group based on features rather than the category of enhancing devices. So what will happen in our future? In the future, each smart home will have a large number of intensive devices to make our life more um, efficient and smart. Different intensive devices have different vulnerable functions and maybe under different kinds of attacks. Meanwhile, one similar attack may have similar functionality or patterns. When the central model tries to learn attack types from different category of nessus devices, federal group is helpful to provide parameters of nessus devices within the same group. Secondly, by combining all the smart environments to build smart cities or smart industries, federated group can learn all the attack detection and attack type detection based on groups, such as we can have the traffic light group, subway group, and smart home camera group. Therefore, federated group makes us use of group master, which can aid with fairness of parameters to various enhancing devices. If we want to fix the voice recognition attacks, for an example, the central model will study the parameters in group voice recognition and know what kind of attacks make the system vulnerable. Therefore, all the intensities devices in CD within the voice recognition category will benefit from it. Lastly, if separate groups are based on multiple features, the federal group will learn more details about attacks to achieve better results. For instance, the smart door products contain many features to open the door. We have maybe app control, fingerprint recognition, entering the password, scanning a smart card, or simply maybe just using the key unlock. The product can be uh, grouped into many categories based on the features. If the smart door is under attack, the central model will tell us which specific part of the smart door is under attack. So um, this study, we introduce a new model called Federal Group. And the result of study underlying that federated learning-based model can solve the problem of security and privacy on decentralized local services with higher accuracy, with a special focus on the fairness of federated Learning federal group is a solution to aggregate updates based on the category of indexing devices. What's more, by drawing upon the theory of ensemble learning used in our federal group as the local model to forecast the best result. And that is the end of our presentation. Thank you.